So let's say hypothetically, you get a thousand free dollars just out of nowhere. In fact, maybe even more than that, maybe a thousand two hundred dollars. What would be a good investment of that money? Let's just say it just appears in your bank account. You just get a check in the mail. What would be a good way to use that money? Now, I'm not going to speak for your life situation, but I will speak for myself and I'll also tell you my rule of thumb, right? Now, a couple weeks ago, I did do a video on, um, you know, one heuristic, I guess, rule of thumb that I use whenever I have some kind of life decision, including how to use money, is, is you know, if you have two choices and one of them is going to make you more independent and one is going to make you more dependent, choose the one that's going to make you more independent. Very, very simple thing to do. Most cases, you know immediately which one's which. And of course, this isn't just independence because the goal is living in the woods and, do, you know, making everything from scratch. I really mean independence from, you know, the system, the economy. I, you know, if you're dependent on your family or friends, that's a natural thing to do. Um, but one thing that people have realized very recently in this, you know, small scale apocalypse that we're living in uh, is that they have been way too reliant on the system, you know, the economy or whatever to do basic things, right? People don't even know how to cook anymore and they have to go to restaurants all the time. It's crazy. Um, but uh, in, when it comes to how to spend money, my recommendation, I mean, the thing I do myself and what I recommend to other people is just think about it in terms of what is going to make me more independent. Now, uh, people often talk about investing money, okay? You know, you got to spend money to make money. That's investment, investment, right? Okay, and that, I understand that. But I would like to do one better. That is, I'm, I don't just want to use money to make money or something like that. I want to use money to make money, but more importantly, reduce my dependence on money, right? That's the goal, using the system to become less dependent on the system, right? So if you go out and buy products, make sure they're products that are gonna make you buy less products in the future. That's my thinking. Now, I know there's some people like, no, you have to stimulate the economy Marino and buy stuff all the time. No, this is not about some magical abstraction called the economy, it's about you being independent, okay? And you not have to, having to spend all this money. All right, so let's talk about, um, specifically what I want to do and some recommendations I have in P, uh, for people generally. Now the big one, I think I talked about this before, there are so many people, when I lived in cities and stuff, there are so many of my friends who basically could not do basic things like, for example, cooking for themselves, okay? Or if they did do cooking, it was like some kind of weird, ooh, we're cooking tonight. That's like a really weird thing. Um, and so I had friends who would live paycheck to paycheck, not because they were not earning a lot, but because they had, they just had a habit of spending like $30, $40 a day on food, which is insane. And this is for one person. These are, This is not, we're talking about urban, urban bug people, not people with families. Um, so that's just crazy for me. I mean, I, I feel guilty. I mean, if I have friends over and, you know, make them a dinner or something like that, if I spend more than $5 or so equivalent in the stuff that, to prepare that, I almost feel, feel like I've wasted money. Uh, I probably use a little more than that, but depends on what I'm making. Um, but anyway, so that is one of those things. If you don't know how to cook food, this isn't just a skill, mind you. I'm not just saying watch YouTube videos and get that kind of stuff. I'm saying this in terms of money because a lot of times there is a kind of startup cost with that, right? You want to have um, herbs and spices and stuff and basic things like uh, flour and potatoes and onions and stuff. You all, I mean, I always have that kind of stuff on my kitchen no matter what, even if I have... Even if my pantry is empty, I always have enough ingredients to make a whole lot of stuff just because it's always out. It's always, you know, you, what I'm trying to say is invest in actually having the basics or having basic tools like, um, you know, pots and pans and stuff, which a lot of people my age, it's insane, but they don't actually have them. Uh, or uh, one, one nice thing I was talking about the other day is uh, something like a slow cooker. If you're bad at cooking, you can basically just put something in a slow cooker and wait eight hours. You can put in junky cuts of meat that you got really cheap and they become like gourmet feasts. It's a great thing to have. So those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. Now in my life, I'll say, um, you know, I really, I really uh, relish the fact that I moved out here in the country, but my biggest mistake is not going far enough, okay? I, w I have not been extreme enough. For example, one regret that I've had that is me not being independent enough is since all this stuff has happened, egg prices here have skyrocketed. They're like 400% what they used to be. Well, 
I have been putting off for months and months getting chickens. I, I have plenty of land for them. I have like a little shed here. I was thinking about putting a little door in it with a little pen so the chickens can come out to play and then go inside during the night. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been putting off getting chickens for a, a long time and I really regret not getting them now. That is one of those things which would make me less dependent on getting eggs at the store and stuff like that. And it's not actually that expensive to maintain chickens uh, or, you know, or raise them from chicks or something else uh, and eventually get meat from that and stuff like that. So that's one thing I, I regret doing, you know, not going far enough. Some other things I'm thinking about getting, uh, and well, the thing is now it's like chickens, they're just flying off the shelves. Like it's hard to get that. I mean, not literally flying off the shelves, but you know what I mean? It's been hard to, I've been looking for chickens the past couple weeks and I haven't found them because everyone wants them now because everyone knows the world is ending. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, while we're on the topic of food, I'm, I've been thinking about getting a meat grinder, um, but also I want to get a still. That's one, uh, another thing I really want to be able to distill stuff, mainly for essential oils because I have all these herbs and stuff. Uh, that I'm going to be trimming during the spring. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to have so many sprigs of thyme and rosemary and stuff like that that I'm not going to know what to do with them. So it'd be nice to be able to distill them and put them in essential oils or something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's just rambling, but it's the same principle, right? Instead of, you know, it used to be the case that when I started cooking, oh, I like thyme, so I'm going to get some thyme at the store, but I just get a shaker that's like $5. What a waste. I just got a plant... Uh, last fall. It's been a fantastic investment. I have spent zero money on it and I have more time than I could ever imagine. Same thing with rosemary and oregano and all these other plants that I got, uh, which has been great. Uh, let's see what else. So anyway, that's the heuristic though. Spend money, not just to make money, but spend money more importantly to reduce your dependence on money, right? Same thing. This is the same principle on my, uh, my channel, right? Use a computer to reduce the am amount of nonsense you deal with in a computer, you know, that's, that's the minimalist perspective, so to speak. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I'm thinking on. So I encourage you get some, get some hardware. If you don't have hardware, get some tools and stuff like that. Uh, get, uh, all the accoutrements of a house that you don't have. Or if you're living in a place where you have to be, if you're living in an apartment in the middle of a city and you realize you don't have a real job anymore, maybe you should put your 1,200 bucks towards getting a U-Haul and coming out in the country and finding some land. Even if you're renting out here, it will be a better, better lifestyle. So anyway, those are just some thoughts, uh, some of my thoughts of what I'm gonna buy. But if you have any suggestions for what me, what I should buy, throw them in the video description. Anyway, that's about it. See you guys next time.